Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's word to you today. Hey, today's the second day of the month of May. Ha! Huh? The month of May speaks of alignment and God is saying a lot, a lot. And those of you that joined us for the prayer meeting yesterday, you already started having direction on where God is going this month. Trust me, every word God has given to you, you will see the manifestation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, before we go into today's broadcast, join me right now as we call for that daily bread. Are you ready? Say this with me and say it with faith. Say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, praise God. Now the Lord have told us that this month, the theme for this month, or the word of the Lord to us this month is, it is time. Praise God. And I told you yesterday, God gave us that scripture in Psalm 102. It says, when the Lord have built up Zion, he will appear. He will appear. Praise God. And now is that time of his appearing. Now, I'll show you a scripture in Psalm, in Psalm 50 and from verse 1. Psalm 50 and from verse 1. He said, the mighty one, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down. The mighty one, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth he has called the earth from the rising of the sun to the going down of that same sun. Now look at verse 2. He says, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, hallelujah, God will shine forth. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous all around him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Praise God. Oh, glory to God. Listen, this month, there's so much alignment taking place. And, and that's why, and when I say alignment, what am I talking about? Now, there are times when the God's children will have to cry for something. And it, it will look like God is not paying attention to them. But then also, there is a season that that cry comes into an alignment with a promise that God has made previously that he cannot change from. For example, when God met Moses at the backside of the desert, what did he say? I have heard the cry of my children in Egypt. Now, that's not the day they cried. They've been crying. They've been crying. And let me tell you something for me. Now, in Egypt, it doesn't look like anything was about to change. It doesn't look like anyone was even bold enough to go and agitate for their freedom. It doesn't seem so. But God had made a promise to Abraham many years before that day. And God says, look, your children shall be in a foreign land and they will be tormented for 400 years. And God said, after 400 years, I will bring them out and they will not come out empty handed. So now here is God visiting Moses and says, I have heard the cry of my children in Egypt. 
These guys have been crying for 400 years, brothers and sisters. And after 400 years, God says, I have heard their cry. What's going on? An alignment has taken place. And that alignment, God, listen, now the Bible didn't tell us specifically if someone was interceding for God to remember the promise he made to Abraham. Now, probably they've all forgotten that they were told that there is such a, prom a promise. You remember when, when jo Joseph was dying? He said, look, I'm dying, but God will surely visit you. And when you leave this town, take my bones with you. So Joseph knew that a day of visitation was coming, but they didn't say when. But when the time came, what happened when the time came? There was an alignment. So God says, I have heard their cry. Now, even though they don't cry on that day, or they didn't cry on that day, God will still say, I have heard. Because now, even though God has made a promise, there's going to be a request from the earth. So when I tell you, every day, let's make that request. Give us this day our daily bread. It's not just a prayer we pray. We are provoking the hand of God to move on our behalf. He's promised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, God is saying, hey, he has built up Zion. I explained to you what Zion is yesterday. It's a nation within the nations. It is one nation within the nations. Now you have people of Zion. Jesus said you are in the world, but you are not of the world. See that now? We live here, but we don't belong here. We belong to another kingdom. And he said that kingdom takes preeminence over everything that is happening on the earth. But hey, it might look slow sometimes. It might look like nothing is happening in the physical. But wait until God arises for Zion's sake. At that time, it doesn't matter the arrangement that have been made on earth. It will change. At that time, it doesn't matter the programming that we have set ourselves. Hey, it's about to change. Praise God. Didn't God say? He said, every knee will bow to me. What does he mean every knee will bow to me? Is he talking about every human being putting his knee down to say, oh, we bow before God? No, sir. He is saying everything that have been made everything that exists now all those things that have been made they were made by some wisdom i hope you know that and no matter how solid they have looked for years when god rises in zion that wisdom will bow to his wisdom yeah that's what he was talking about every knee will bow to him. all that wisdom all those structures they have set every one of them will bow to him why because his wisdom which is christ is the wisdom of god and that's everything <laughs> is god so there is no wisdom that is greater than christ there is no establishment that is greater than that which christ will establish there is no kingdom that is greater than the kingdom of Zion. Now Zion may be quiet. It might look like we are praying. We, oh God, where are you? Oh God, how will you allow this happen? Oh God, where? hey, when we come to that place of alignment, the day Pharaoh commanded Moses and said, take these people out now. I don't think they were all thinking it would be that day. Many of them have already started giving up by then. Moses, I know you, 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 you can't give up easily because you've already shown yourself. When you just start to start to back down all these things that you're doing. 
It doesn't seem God is answering. Ten times now you have gone before Pharaoh. Then Pharaoh sent for Moses and said, take your people out quickly. Take them out now. Praise God. That was when God rose up. Now here he's saying, out of Zion, verse 2, Psalm 50, the perfection of beauty. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says God loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. He loved Zion. Zion is the perfection of beauty. Zion is where God had placed all his investment in. He placed it in Zion. I'm telling you, too, every wisdom that comes forth for Zion's sake, all from Zion, is an everlasting wisdom. Now, I'm not saying because a man of God said something means it's from Zion. No. No. But when you align your mind to that which comes from Zion, if you... I remember yesterday I started talking to you about blessing from this world, which is called earthly riches or unrighteous mammon, and blessing that is from Zion. I'll still expand on that. Trust in the Spirit of God for that. Praise God. So, so everything that is coming out of Zion. Now, you may learn to do things in this world and be perfect in it, and it's working for you. It doesn't mean that that thing is from Zion. God can help you according to this world. Yes, it still doesn't mean that was God's best for you. When God blesses you out of Zion, oh dear Lord, you will never know what it is to be broke again. I'm telling you the truth. You will never know it. You will try to be broke. You realize that it is impossible to be broke. I'm telling you the truth. So the thing you must desire, the blessing you must desire in your life is what is coming out of Zion. Why? He says here, it is the perfection of beauty. Mm. When he says perfection of beauty, he's not just talking about beautiful place like you see, you know, a fine street. No, he's talking about perfection. He's talking about everything working and you can't find any faults in it. Perfection of beauty. Hey. Hmm. Now, I don't know what you're believing God for. Within this month, some of you are believing God for a spouse. Some of you are believing God for a job. Some of you are believing God, whatever you're believing God for. Hey, this month is a month of alignment. And the Lord is saying, it is time. What does it mean it is time? There is an alignment between Zion taking roots on the earth. So it is time, the set time, for Zion to establish its presence on the earth. So if you're looking for something, if you're looking for blessings, if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for a spouse, and this month, if you will release your faith, hey, this is a month to pray like never before. If you release your faith right now, what that means is what God is going to give you is going to come from Zion. And what does that tell you? It's going to come with this perfect beauty with it. It's going to come with this completeness in it. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, you don't understand. Hallelujah. It's, it's, it's... Mm. <laughs> It's a month of blessing, praise God. Oh yes, it is. It's a month of blessing. And the kind of blessing God is giving this month is not the usual type. It's not a type that, that oh, you know, well, I got this type before. I don't know what has happened. Hey, whatever you're believing God for, what he's giving you is the lasting 
one and not just lasting one the way it's going to click and connect you're looking for a spouse you're going to meet someone that you will just be amazed where did you come from where have you been all my life because it's going to happen in such a way that you feel as though we've known ourselves from before we were born yes really praise god why it's coming from zion the perfection of beauty whatever god is releasing this month this month there's going to be a release such a release from zion now whatever the church have been praying for get ready to see manifestation this month oh yes when i said the church now i'm talking about you as an individual you're a child of god and you as a group a ministry that is established by god so now for that to be established the old will have to go away see that now just like what happened to job you know people don't know what happened to job people just thought ah i've heard many preachers preach and say job caused his problem by himself how did job cause his problem by himself oh his mouth his mouth he was confessing the thing that i feared most has come upon me hey if his mouth has been wrong there is no way he would have been so blessed like that because remember satan gave a testimony concerning job and satan said to god say you have blessed the work of his hands that was satan's testimony about job so satan looked at job and said Kai, i can't attack this guy why because everything he has was blessed by god yet god didn't see perfection in that why because it was all unrighteous man but then because job was perfect now now god's testimony concerning job was he was a perfect man oh boy <laughs> what's god's testimony concerning you have you ever thought about it this job god says have you considered my servant job? but that there is none like him one who's so perfect who walks according to my way that's what god said concerning job and Satan didn't say, Lord, is a lie. I have an accusation against him. No. Satan said, eh, it is because you have blessed him. That's why he's like that. But the truth about Job is this. And I'm going to talk to you in, in, in more details about that. God wanted to replace the unrighteous mammon he had with true riches. That was the whole summary of Job's life and the things he went through. And God did. So listen to me. All things will be taken away from you. That the new. Now some of you, the old has already been taken. Some of you, the old is already on its way out. And some of you might be crying right now. But listen to me. The new is coming this month. You didn't hear me. I said the new is coming this month. It's by the grace of God, by the power of God. It is God that is rising out of Zion to do you good. Praise God. My time is up. Hey, thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for everyone who is listening and watching me right now. Your word will never fail where they are concerned. Lord, you will look upon them and rise for their sake from Zion and bring them blessing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.